Hi, this is Sue Ann Fang from Keller Williams Advantage. This is the second part of my video series on buying condos. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the dreaded maintenance fees. Nobody likes to talk about those. I'm gonna demystify it for you. First, I'm going to explain how they come up with condo maintenance fees and how they allocate it to a particular unit. It's based on the square footage of ownership. So when you're buying a condo, the property management has an allocated uh, square foot cents. It's usually between 65 cents and 67 cents on average in Toronto, up as high as a dollar a square footage. And it's allocated to the amount of square footage that you own. So the bigger the condo, the higher the maintenance. If two condos are the same size and one has a storage locker and one doesn't, the storage locker unit will pay a bit more maintenance per month. You also have the common elements. So all those shared places that nobody owns specifically, like the hallways and the amenities, a portion of that is allocated to your unit based again on your ownership percentage in the building you combine the square footage for your unit with the allocation of the common area and you come up with your maintenance fees per month. So as I mentioned, average maintenance fees in Toronto are about 65 to 67 cents. If you find a condo that's around a dollar mark or more, and they do exist, you're paying on the higher side. So how do they come up with those fees over time and what do they include? So where do all those monthly fees go? Think of a pie. Your money every month goes into that pie and the pie gets sliced up into pieces. So one of the pie pieces is the reserve fund. This is the savings account for the condominium corporation that's set aside for capital expenses and repairs. One slice of the pie is for the amenities. So that keeps the gyms in order, repairs the pool when it needs it, all of those things. One slice of the pie goes to the utilities that are covered in your maintenance fees and so on and so on and so on. So when you're buying a condo, how do you know the building you're looking at is well managed? Well, the building itself is managed by a board of directors that are made up of the condo owners themselves. So as a potential owner, you can get involved in the management of the building if you want to run for the board of directors. Before you buy into the building, you're presented with a status certificate. Now the status certificate is a financial document prepared by the property management company and given to you. You take a look at this with your real estate lawyer and then they'll tell you whether the building is being managed properly. They look for several red flags. I'm going to talk all about the status certificate in the next video and I'll explain what all those red flags could be. In the meantime, the Ontario government has put together a really great uh, condo reference guide that's available. I'm happy to email that to you if you'd like a copy of it send me an email through the button below and I'll send that off to you. As always, you can give me a call at 416-562-5002 and I'm happy to answer any questions you might have on condo ownership or maintenance fees. Hit the subscribe button below and watch my other videos in this series. Thanks so much for watching.